guys, it's your girl T. So once again, our four favorite state, ghetto ass Georgia's back in the news. And once again, the children of the damn cornbread are wilding out. So what's going on now, ghetto ass Georgia, you ask? What's going on is that we have these two young people. One is 17 year old Devon Luckett. The other is 19 year old Marquis Williams. What went down is that basically they were riding down the street and they saw a 14 year old boy who had a brand new pair of $200 Jordans. They're the brand new Jordan Air 6 Chromes. So they've been wanting these shoes for a while, but these shoes are sold out everywhere. So they saw a 14 year old boy getting off the school bus and they decided to turn around, pull out their guns and literally rob this child at the school bus stop. I mean, the whole situation makes no damn sense whatsoever. On top of Devon robbing and taking the shoes of this 14 year old boy, he then decides to stunt once again for the gram. Once again, Instagram is indicting all these silly ass dudes. I mean, the whole situation makes no sense. Why would you do a strong arm robbery towards a teenager and then turn around and floss for the ground? I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Now new at five, held up over a pair of Air Jordan sneakers. A 14 year old Clayton County boy faced a gun and was ordered to hand over his pricey shoes. Channel 2's Baron Peterson live outside the county jail where the two suspects will spend the night. Now, yeah, Clayton County Police say these two guys admitted they were simply driving by the victim. They noticed his sneakers and decided to take them. It happened near the corner of Scarlet and Lakeshore Drives in Jonesboro. Clayton County Police say a 14-year-old boy had just gotten off a school bus and was walking home in these, a $200 pair of Air Jordans. And that's when cops say 17-year-old Devon Luckett drove up. He saw the shoes. He wanted the shoes. He took the shoes. Police say the victim loosened the laces and handed them over because he saw Duckett had a gun. The same gun that 19-year-old Reed Williams flashed in front of him just minutes before when Williams was eyeballing the shoes. He shows it to the young man and, uh, you know, says to him something to the effect of, you know, I'd rob you, but you know my baby's mama. Detectives say it turns out these two were working together. A similar crime happened back on August 14th in the parking lot of this Henry County restaurant. 15-year-old boy beaten by a gang of thieves who stole his sneakers. In the Clayton case, police say the suspects bragged about the robbery on social media. Detectives say Luckett is wearing one of the shoes in this snapshot. And guess what he had on when police arrested him? When he rode by, he saw the shoes, liked the shoes, so he went back and got them and actually had the shoes on during the interview. Now, police say the victim pretty shaken up, but he was not hurt. Meantime, both suspects charged with aggravated assault and armed robbery, both felonies. We're live in Clayton County, Baron Peterson, Channel 2. All right, so you guys just watched the news clip, and like I said, it just makes no sense whatsoever. It's sad that so many people in this generation are willing to rob, shoot, kill for something as stupid as a pair of $200 sneakers that cost $40 to make. Now, my kids are sneakerheads. They love their shoes, and I have no problem with kids wanting Jordans and Kyrie Irvins and KDs and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people are saying, why does this 14-year-old boy have on $200 shoes? He might be a good student. It might have been a birthday present. That is irrelevant. It's no different than your 14-year-old child having a damn $500 iPhone. If I pay for something for my child, it's my child. It's my hard-earned money that I use to pay for my child to get him something that he wanted. It's nobody else's right to think they have the right to come up to my child and rob them of their goods. I mean, to me, that whole situation is sick. You know, sad that we live in a day and age where people feel like they can't afford something. If they're not able to get it, they can just take it from somebody else. Jordan robberies have been going on since the 90s. One thing I cannot stand are people who go around robbing folks. I just think that's just a disgusting thing to do because if somebody works hard for their item it's their item and you have no right to take that from them you know and then the fact that this fool had to know to be on instagram stunting once again and i don't know if that's his mama in the picture but i really hope that that's not his mother in that picture i mean the whole situation is just crazy and now both of these guys are looking at felony charges they really could be locked away now for the next five to ten years all because some damn Jordans. You know, it makes no sense. And this ain't the first time that they did that. They had robbed a 15-year-old boy back in July for his J's. You know, so it's really, really sad. So a lot of these parents might want to, you know, rethink buying your kids really expensive shoes. And if they're going to floss them, you might have to pick them up from school and drop them off. Because, you know, it's really sad that a lot of people are out here robbing kids and holding kids at gunpoint, you know, over some damn shoes. It just makes no sense with so damn ever. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ghetto-ass story that's once again coming from our fourth favorite state, ghetto-ass Georgia. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and you can show me some love by watching my previous videos don't forget to like rate comment and share and also don't forget to follow me on social media and check out lovelytea.com where you can support my channel by purchasing a coffee mug or a t-shirt
Talk to y'all later. Deuces.